Welcome to Hearing and Equilibrium. Well, now we will be talking about the actual structure of the ear. And the outer ear is highlighted in purple, the middle ear is highlighted in pink, and the inner ear is highlighted in green. And first of all, the pinna, which is the only visible part of the ear, it acts as a funnel that assists in directing the sound into the ear. And the sound waves, they enter the ear canal, which is a tube running from the outer ear to the middle ear. And it's a canal for sound to travel to the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane, the tympanic membrane is a thin layer of tissue that receives sound vibrations from the outer ear and transmits those vibrations to the auditory ossicles, which are the three bones within the middle ear. The malus is the first auditory ossicle and it's attached to the tympanic membrane. And as the tympanic membrane vibrates horizontally, in response the malus also vibrates horizontally. The incus is the middle ossicle, which vibrates in response to the malus vibrating, and it also vibrates in a horizontal direction. In response to the incus vibrating, the stapes, which is an ossicle attached to the oval window, um, transmits the vibrations to the inner ear through the oval window, which is right here. The co cochlea is the inner ear portion that looks like a small snail, and it receives sound in the form of vibrations, which causes the stereocilia within the cochlea to move. The scala vestibuli is the initial channel in which the sound vibrations move through the cochlea, and it's a perilymph-filled cavity that conducts sound and vibrations to the cochlear duct slash scala media. The scala vestibuli is highlighted in purple, and it's a channel which will carry up the cochlea. And the scala media um, is the highlighted middle portion of the cochlea. The cochlear duct, or scala media, is the endolymph-filled highlighted cavity inside the cochlea between the tympanic duct and vestibular duct, separated by the basilar membrane and renaissance membrane. The ascending portion of the passage is a scala vestibuli in which the sound transmitted from the oval window travels up the cochlea. The scala tympani is the descending portion of the cochlea in which the sound vibrations travel down the cochlea, which is um, shown with the orange arrows, and it's a perilymph filled cavity and extends all the way to the round window in which the sound vibrations exit the cochlea. Now we're going to talk about the mechanism of hearing. The mechanism of hearing occurs in the organ of corti. The organ of corti is composed of everything that you see above the basilar membrane. As sound enters the cochlea, the basilar membrane moves up and down. As this movement occurs, the organ of corti moves up and down. As this movement of cord occurs, the tectorial membrane moves in a sort of windshield wiper way and causes the cilia, which are the extending hair cells out of the inner and the outer hair cells, to vibrate. This vibration, in turn, causes a signal to be released from the inner and the outer hair cells to the auditory nerve fibers, which together form the auditory nerve. As these signals get sent to the brain, this is what causes someone to hear. It's important to note that the inner hair cells are the ones that are directly responsible for hearing, whereas the outer hair cells modulate sound and help you hear better. We're going to talk about the mechanism of equilibrium. The inner ear also helps our bodies with keeping equilibrium. There are three hollow tubes filled with endolymph that help your body keep equilibrium. In the vestibules, the utricle and the saccule, they help your body detect static equilibrium, which is its position in space. This is really important for maintaining appropriate posture and balance. So sound waves come in through the oval window, they hit the oval window and make the fluid vibrate. Uh, it vibrates utricle, the fluid in the utricle and the saccule. And then the vibrations go through the semicircular canals and vibrate fluid in the ampulla. And these 
three ampulla, they help your body detect dynamic equilibrium, which is mainly acceleration. And that is how the body senses its position in space and keeps its balance. Thanks for watching, guys! We hope our words have stimulated your um, cilia, um, stereo cilia, and I hope those vibrations reach your brain and stay as knowledge. Thank you!